This is Unit 4, Week 1, Question Number 8. Who was John Brown? John Brown's a passionate abolitionist. He dies as a martyr for abolitionists and for those who think, you know, that slave, the Civil War is a foregone conclusion and inevitable. He first had already gone down to Kansas during the Kansas-Nebraska Kansas Act to bring a bunch of passionate abolitionists to settle there to make it a pro, um, an anti-slave state. And he had, when the fighting broke out between the abolitionists and the pro-slavery people, and five abolitionists were killed, he went over to the pro-slavery capital and hacked up five people at random will to balance things out. He's a radical, passionate abolitionist. He has a plan. In 1859, at the ferry, Harper's Ferry, today West Virginia, then Virginia, there's a federal arsenal, a supply of guns. He is going to steal the guns from the U.S. Army, break in, capture all these weapons, and pass them out to slaves to lead an uprising. Two problems. One, mountains of Western Virginia aren't a lot of slaves in the Appalachians. Two, None of them have really been informed about this. And so when he arrives, there's a very lightly guarded federal arsenal. He comes with several of his sons and supporters. They successfully um, capture the arsenal, take control of it. And the problem is there's a train passing by. When you're committing a massive federal crime, like stealing from the US Army, and a train passes by, you probably don't want to let it keep going. Instead of stopping the train, the train passes by, goes to D.C., warns the president, exec authorities, Robert E. Lee in Union Army, off clothing, U.S. Army officer comes out, they capture John Brown. He goes on trial, He's, he says, I, John Brown, am firmly convinced that this nation's sins will never be shed in anything but war. Sort of foreshadowing again the Civil War only two years off. Becomes a martyr to abolitionists. A white man who dies for the cause of blacks to uh, black abolitionists and others. And a huge controversial figure. The guy with a giant, huge beard. He was also secretly funded by a number of prominent northerners, the secret six, who never wanted to be revealed that they were supporting giving money to terrorist acts. I mean, that's essentially what this is. Terrorist act for a higher good. So he's a huge martyr in the call, in the case and the road towards the Civil War. And he's captured by the guy who's eventually going to quit the army and, support, and lead the Southern Army, Confederacy kind of fun. And that's it from some guy in an Aloha print shirt. <laughs>